Adam Cochran here with Castellini on Computers and HelpMeRick.com with a quick tip about Picasa for you today. We're going to talk about getting experimental with Picasa. Open up Picasa, go to Tools, and Experimental. These are some beta features that uh, Picasa has that you can play around with. There are things that uh, you may not find the most handy, but they're certainly fun to play with. The first one is called Publish via FTP, and most people won't use that, but what it does is sends the selected pictures that you have up to any website uh, that you may uh, have an FTP account for. If you don't know what that means, that means you can move on to the next feature. The next thing is to show duplicate files. A lot of people have a habit of transferring their same pictures uh, once or twice or two or three times and uh, what, it, what ends up happening is you may end up with the same pictures in multiple locations. So search for duplicate files will search your whole computer for all files with the same name. Keep in mind that these photos may not actually be duplicates. Perhaps you've changed uh, the files and then saved them in a different place as altered images. They may have the same name, but they may not be exactly the same picture. So just because Picasso thinks they're duplicates doesn't necessarily mean that it's so. Once you've done a search, you can always just click Exit Search and go back to your main collection. Go to Tools, Experimental, and the next one we can go to search for. And this is kind of cool. Let's say I can choose search for red, orange, yellow, any one of these colors, or I can choose black and white. And Picasso will scan through all my photos for all of the uh, photos matching that color or that have that color dominating the picture. So here I chose black and white. If I go back through and choose tools, experimental, search for, and I might choose red then everything with red in it dominating the photo comes up. It's a very cool little feature. I don't know exactly what you use it for, but uh, it can come in at least, it'll at least be a fun tool for you. The next thing we'll talk about is upload to Google Video. This is a feature that a lot of people don't use, but they probably don't know about. If you go to google.com or video.google.com, you can set up a free Google account that lets you upload videos. So you can share maybe family videos or excerpts that you've recorded or videos you've taken with your little digital camera or camera phone. Upload those to the internet so that family and friends can see them or you can share them on a video service such as YouTube. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with the experimental section of Picasa. And with each update that comes out with Picasa, they often add new features to that experimental area. So it's worth keeping an eye on. This is where the future uh, services or the future function of functions of Picasso will show up before they actually get implemented in the whole program. So enjoy that. Get a little bit experimental. Play around with Picasso and enjoy the experimental feature. This is Adam Cochran with HelpMeRick.com. Thanks for watching.